Hi, welcome to my guitar tutorial. I'm calling this a B-flat blues uh, chords and melody with guitar tab uh, guitar tutorial. So, um, so just look in the description below. I'll have the link to this uh, guitar tab. Um, so uh, one of the notes I have in the guitar tab at the bottom is the guitar tab is written out as a basic idea. Add hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, bends, etc. at your discretion. So so that's kind of what I was showing in the in the uh, intro. I, I played the first time through. I just played it as written. Second time through, I added some um, embellishments, and then the third and fourth times through, I added embellishments and I played it along with Drum Genius, just a very uh, simple um, backbeat. I think it was the metronome was about 56. Okay, so don't need to make this too long-winded. I'll try to just get to the the, the basics mm -hmm. of what I'm doing. So. Uh, part of the reason I did this was, quite frankly, a little backstory here. Uh, those of you who have been following my channel for a long time know that I have a lot of chord melody arrangements written, and I did this on an on iPad on a, on a on a app called Progression. So I was using it for years and years and years, and and one day I decided, you know, they said, "Oh, here's an update." So I I, I installed the update, and I opened it up, and I was like, "Oh my God, they totally changed it." I was so mad. I was so angry because it, it, I couldn't figure out how to use it. So I just got in frustrated. I, I contacted the company. They sent me a bunch of links to tutorials. Uh, some guy with a British accent, you know, trying to sound all authoritative, telling you how to use it. And I, you know, barely could understand what he was trying to get at. And uh, they, they don't really explain very well. So, um, so eventually... I, I would say maybe a couple weeks ago, I, I said, I'm going to pull this out. I'm just going to try to figure it out. So this is actually my one of my first attempts to relearn how to use a progression mobile, whatever they whatever they call it. So so that's what this that's really part of what this is. They're just trying to come up with a with, with a simple arrangement that I could actually write out in tab. So so I'm gradually trying to relearn how to use this this uh, app writing software on my iPad, and hopefully I can you know do some other things in the future. So that's kind of a little little backstory about how this came about. So so once again, what I decided to do here, I just wanted to do like a chord and melody thing. Very, very simple. So you can just see what I'm using. I'm using using very, very basic chords. You know, you can look at the tab, B flat seven chord, and then here that's an E flat nine chord, but there's no root in there. Okay. And then for the F nine chord, I'm just using a, you know, a, you know, a, 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 it's basically a minor seven flat five voicing. All right, so those are the, th the three basic shapes I'm using. And then for the turnaround there, um, I'll come back to that. Okay, and then I, I just thought, well, since I'm playing solo, there's no bass, I'll try to do some, um, you know, some double note things. So the very first lick, everybody will recognize, that's just, that's just a Wind Cries Mary. Right now, the other thing I did was, was because I'm just learning how to use the software, I didn't put in a lot of grace notes, hammer-on slides. I didn't do that, so that's why I, I said this is just a basic idea, and then you have to know what to do. So, for example, right off the bat... You just have to know that you know it's written, but you do you do like a hammer on, and then here, and then hammer on there. Okay, and then on this one, on on the next lick, this is just just double notes. You know, most people would slide up. All right, that gives you like that blues sound. Right, that's kind of you would call it maybe like a Dorian blue scale or something like that. You know, uh, I think of like a, a lot of people use that, right, that thing, or right, just sliding up there. So that's what I mean by the note on the bottom there. Just uh, you just have to use your your discretion. Okay, then this here. Right, so I wrote that like that, but typically how it's done, it's usually done as a hammer on. Right, so you can hammer on there, and then. And then you obviously, obviously you can put in like a, a, a pull off there. And then change the rhythm. So I, I didn't mention that in the note, but that's the other thing you can do then. And then this is, this is kind of. Right. Um, I think Hendrix says a lot of stuff like that in Red House. Okay, kind of a nice sound there. Okay, next line there. Right, so, that, so I wrote it very straight. But then a lot of people would go either. Um, uh, slide or maybe a bend there 
to get that note. Okay, then the next one. And then uh, here. Yeah, that's just a simple melody. And then here. So there's different ways you can you can uh, finger that. You can just go use your fourth finger, or you can do like a little uh, slide up there. So 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 they get the two notes to ring out. You just have to make sure that you're not bumping into the next string. And then, all right. So there, I just wrote it really straight. Uh, I think one of my examples. Yeah, I'm a big fan of just the kind of like teasing up those half step bends up to the flat seven. All right, uh, slide up there or um, or or a half step bend. Okay, then the next one. Okay, the, so the F. Okay, so this is just a typical sound. I I, I kind of think of like Robin Trower here. Uh, what is that? Two Rolling Stone. Uh, he does that stuff. All right, so I just have it as da 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 da, but you can slide. Da, da. So that's a good good uh, sixth lick, sixth interval here. Then, and that's so if you look at what that is, that's kind of that's kind of like your blues blues box with the blue scale. Okay, and then here I did a couple different things with this. Uh, so th this is like a typical walk down. Right. So then as I was preparing for this video, I thought, well, uh, I think I've heard players do things where you kind of leave out that third note of each triplet. So you have here. Right, that, that's a nice. So, so just as written. Or just leave out the, the third note of the triplet. And then here, that's just a typical walk up there. So, so, so you could have done. I could have done that in a different rhythmic device. Uh, you, I think you can go. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Uh, 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 where you you wait a little bit for that walk up. And I could I could have done triplets there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or I could have done maybe like uh, like a like an F seven chord. I could could have done maybe like a like a nine or a sharp nine there. Nine or sharp nine. Or sharp uh, sharp five. Okay. Okay, that's just a couple a couple ideas there. And then I think the, the I think the very last time in, in the opening uh, playing demonstration, I just I just did typical bar chords. So I could have done I could have done this like that. I could have done um, you know bigger chords. I just decided to do just so, kind of smaller chords. You know, if you're if you're playing with a backing track with a with a bass player, this would sound really nice if you're your bass with. Would sound really good to have these smaller chords. So I, I did like just regular typical B flat seven chord, and then a typical like E flat nine chord, and then an F nine chord. Okay, and then the other thing I did in the playing example, I also did the chromatic there. So I think uh, let's see if we go to uh, one, two, like that that F nine to the E flat. So you can go uh, so F and then F E E flat. Again, so F chromatic. So you can do it with the with the full chord, or you can also do it with those partial chords. Okay, okay. I think uh, that's about that's about all I have. So, like I said, I wanted to do something really simple, chords and melody. I wanted to figure out how to use this. You know this uh, updated uh, app, you know, this uh, progression software that I used for years and years and years. You know, and I, I was I was just cranking out. You know, the chord melody. You can just look on my channel. I mean, I've I got lots and lots of chord melody. I would be able to you know just sit down and write these out like like nothing and just bam 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 with the with the stylus and just you know I, I got so used to using that software and then they they uh, updated it and I wasn't wasn't aware of that so is it words you know word of caution you know when you're updating your your uh, 
your apps, like make sure that you, you, you know what they're doing. So I guess if I would have done some research, I would have realized that they were, you know, totally reformulating it, trying to make it better. You know, so we'll see if it's better if I can, you know, make uh, more uh, interesting stuff. So um, okay, well, thanks for listening and watching. I think I'll do I'll do a little uh, improv at the end here. Um, I have, like I said, I have nothing nothing particularly planned. Um, this was just supposed to be a simple uh, demonstration. So maybe I'll do. Um, um, let's see. Um, I'll just I'll just kind of play freely here, and and then maybe if I feel like it, I'll put the I'll put the track back on. Actually, I'll test myself here. What I'll do is I'll I'll, I'll put like a kind of a swing feel swing feel on a little bit faster for the for that. Okay, so I'll just kind of do a little bit here. So th thanks for listening and watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.